Hey guys, welcome to this next episode of The Vegan's Book slash The Fur Energy Channel. And today I'm going to be showing you how to build your very own salt water batteries using nothing but an aluminum can, a little bit of Epsom salt, two zinc bolts, and some water. So, uh, here, I'll show you. All right, so here's our little setup here. Um, basically, what's going to happen is I'm going to use this Epsom salt here. Uh, I'm not sure if it works better with table salt or not. I don't have any, but I figured use why not use Epsom salt because magnesium, magnetic, magnetics might have something to do with electric production inside of water since it's like an electrolyte um, this bottle is made of aluminum uh, aluminum is very very low on permeability it has a permeability of like zero or, zero or one and it's paramagnetic uh, it's it's kind of like copper. Copper is also, uh, I believe it's diamagnetic, but it has a permeability of one, zero or one. So it's very, very low. So this would be working as my, my, uh, my anode. And here is my zinc uh, bolts here. I have them connected using a nut. Get a better view here. Use the nut, and uh, the two bolt ends are screwed into the nut, making it linked together, making it just about the entire length of this bottle here. Let's see if I can get up there. All right, so. Uh, I'm going to put uh, two half cups or one whole cup of Epsom salt in my bottle. All right, and now I'm going to add uh, a cup and a half of distilled water inside of my bottle so it works as kind of like the electrolytic amplifier. Yeah, that's what the salt does. Works as the electrolytic amplifier. <laughs> We got one. don't want to be wasting this water. Okay, so now I'm going to take my zinc bolt connection here and I'm going to wrap it with this cotton sock and um, I'm going to stick the sock down into the bottle 
and if it's got a good enough grip inside of the bottle, like a good fitting inside of it, it should give me a decent voltage. But my problem is I can't read amperage right now because I accidentally blew the amperage fuse on my voltmeter. But for volts, we can at least see what we produce. And on the next video, I'm hoping to have an amperage reading. So here we go. Let's get this down in there. Okay. Get this camera adjusted here. All right, so <laughs> it's as simple as that. It's uh, not very, very hard to make. Just don't want them to tip over. And the most unbalanced floor in the world. So now what we're going to do is we're going to check the voltage of our battery. Here we all right, so here I have my voltmeter. I'm going to turn it to the 20 volt setting. And I am pulling 0.9 of a volt, so I'm just shy of a whole volt right now. 0.91. Let's see if I can if I can uh, multitask this. You guys seeing that? It's probably backwards, but it says 0.91. It's just shy of a volt. I don't know if it's rechargeable or not, but um, like I said at the beginning of the video, there is a company that builds sea salt batter or just salt water batteries that are rechargeable, and they are built basically just using this kind of idea that I am doing right here, that I'm using right here. So uh, very cheap, very easy. My next video, I'm going to demonstrate if I can charge it using solar. And I'll keep you guys informed as to what my progress will be. So uh, stay tuned, guys. Peace out.